Ladies and gentlemen, Will here with Garage Gym Guru in the Living 10 Strength Garage, and welcome back to my gym for another product review. Kind of. Today we're gonna do Kabuki Strength Blemished. What is it? Check them out on their website. But what happens with Kabuki Strength is they have blemish items that come from the factory, meaning you might have a scratch, might have a little bit of corrosion somewhere, it might have some kind of dent or something like that. There might be something that's on it that they bring the price down, and they also will ship it to you faster. So the reason why that is is because of what comes from the factory, Kabuki Strength want to make sure that you get an undamaged item altogether, which I think is fantastic. But if they do have an item come in, they put it on their blemish part of the website, and at that point, you can actually purchase it for a cheaper price and get it a lot faster. I ordered these two bars. It's the Kabuki Strength Trap Bar HD and their Cadillac Bar about a week and a half ago, and they both came in today. A week and a half is a lot better than 14 to 18 weeks, I believe both, both those bars lead time is. And they're both about $68 cheaper each. So I've saved myself over $100 on both of these bars. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna unbox these right in front of you to show you exactly what you get when you get a blemish bar. And we'll see what happens. Now I am OCD, so hoping that nothing is too bad that I can't handle. But for 68 bucks cheaper and not having to wait for close to four months, I think I'll be happy. So let's get into it right now. Thanks again for joining me. It was I opened this up right here so it'd make it a little easier for the video. <clears throat> I haven't opened the box at all yet, so this is the first time opening up, and we're gonna see how it looks. You're looking at it just like I am. Alright, so in the box, first thing we have is some cardboard. We'll get rid of that. Some more cardboard. I will say the packaging's really nice. Usually use PS when they deliver stuff, it's the packaging sucks, and this came in pretty good packaging. Um, wasn't beat up or anything too bad. So we have a separate box right here. Let's go ahead and take the top off and see what we have. Wow, I gotta say, I mean, we don't know yet what the damage is and we're about to find out. I can already see some damage, but if you look, looks like they packaged it up really well. I like that even though it's a damaged item, all this stuff is still packaged up. All right, so you can see, and this is something they did say would be a possibility of part of the damage um, that you would get is there's a little bit of maybe oxid oxid uh, oxidation uh, right here. Uh, nothing horrible though, and there is a little dent right here, and also a dent right here. It looks like it was cut on accident. Um, I'm not really too worried about that. Uh, inside looks good, as you can see. The Kabuki Strength cap there. Let's put that to the side. Nothing too horrible there, but there is damage. <clears throat> or blemish, whatever you want to call it. So the other side the same way. Now this might just be normal right here. This might not be a big deal. And oddly enough, it's the same way here. There's this little indent, and maybe that's just the way they come. So anybody who has this bar that did not get it unblemished, let me know. I'm really curious to know if that's actually a blemish or that's just the way it comes. End cap, I gotta say, man, they got the coolest end caps. Hope you guys can see that. All right. So, next up, let's go into here. <clears throat> Open this up, see what we got. Looks like these are the feet. Like I said, packaging is really well done. I'm really happy with that. Um, you never know when sometimes they send you a blemish something, a company, sometimes you worry about, are they gonna still take the same kind of steps to making sure that it comes nice? And it definitely looks like they did. Okay, so this piece right here, no damage that I can see. Another foot piece, I don't see any damage on that. These look fine. <clears throat> Those look good. That one looks good also. Pretty heavy duty, I to be honest. I mean, I'm not surprised, but as you guys can see, these are pretty thick um, and they're pretty heavy. 
Next, looks like we got the brackets. Actually, let's go through here. Looks like we got some instructions put to the side. We've got items to help us put it together, which is nice that they gave us that. More of the instructions. Um, one thing I did know that Kabuki does, which I think is pretty awesome, is that they give you stickers for free. Which the bar. I mean, if you want to call it free, the bars are pretty expensive. But overall, the fact that they do give you these stickers, I think it's pretty cool. These are pretty awesome. These might look good on my uh, platform. So we'll put these to the side as well. For now, oh, missed one. I love Kabuki's, uh, the way they have everything. I, I love their design. The squad face I think is so cool, especially with the name, because it honestly looks like a Japanese mask, but they call it a squad face. <clears throat> okay, here's one of the handles, smaller handle. Um, this is something else that they said too, sometimes with the handles you might see some oxidation inside there, but as soon as you put it on, you're not gonna notice a difference. There is some on one side there. I'm not too worried about that. I love when the packaging is tough to get to because then you know the package was done well. The other one's the same way. We'll see everything. We'll make sure once we put it together that everything works out fine. <clears throat> Here's the bracket. Originally I went with the narrow and then I asked them to change it into the regular. Um, I like the handles a little closer to me, but whatever. Hopefully they changed it. They said they did. All right, so there's a little blemish there. A little bit of scrape mark. No big deal. Whatever. Bracket, it's like Christmas. Okay, I can see a little bit of damage to this. Damage, blemish, whatever you want to call it. I don't really know. <clears throat> so, where did it go? There it is, there's a little bit of scraping right there. Now I have read other people's reviews saying that they, you know, when they got this bar, there was damage to like each and every little piece. So mine's not like that just yet, so far. Different pieces have different problems, but nothing horrible, in my opinion. So these are gonna be the bigger handles. Wow, these things are freaking heavy. Don't get me wrong, they're not heavy like, oh my gosh, I can't lift them. They're just heavy, they're pretty stout. So I know everybody wants to know what's the knurling like. We will be doing a full review on this bar, just like the other bar. You can see there's some scuffing in the knurl, very, very, Minimal guys you can see just a tiny tiny bit and that might be normal everything else looks pretty good with them though Nothing I'm too concerned with. Oh look we almost missed a sticker <clears throat> Okay, we are doing this one continuous loop, right? I'm not trying to uh, Turn the camera off or anything like that. I want you guys to see them opening this up in front of you All right, so the main piece here obviously Which is obviously wrapped up pretty well more cardboard which is a good thing so I want to make sure now this is the piece that I'm mostly concerned about what kind of damage we possibly have um, because it's the main piece of it right this is not the best table that I have this on so I'm trying to be very careful this is like a little shitty card table, to be honest, guys. I don't keep a table in my garage ever. <clears throat> okay. I think it's worse than Christmas. Okay, so... For this piece here, from what I can see, it's almost bigger than the damn table. I do not see any damage on this side. Switch it around. I don't see any damage on this side, guys, either. Tiny little mark. There's a tiny little mark right there. If the camera's even getting it, I don't even know. 
But right over here there's a tiny little mark. Nothing horrible. All right, guys, so that is the unboxing of it. I'm going to go ahead and put it together. I'll show it to you put it together then, and then we'll go into the next bar. All right, guys, so here's the bar put together. So the only other thing I found now, at first I thought the main part of the bar had no blemishes. I thought this was just like, and you probably can see it here. I thought it was just going to be like dust or something, or maybe from the box. But there is a blemish here on the bar, as you can see. So there's discoloring. It actually looks worse on the camera than it does in person, I'll be totally honest. So that's just something else to look at as well. All right, let's get to the next bar. Cadillac bar blemished. All I did was take these out. That way I can open it up easier. You guys don't have to see me struggle with that bull crap. All right, one box, heavy box. I'm sure we know what that is. This box, obviously, then we got the bolts. Should be a lot less to put together than the other one. The other one was easy though. Like before, we've got instructions. It looks like we've got some more stickers. I like stickers, especially when they come free. I think that's awesome. I just ordered a bar from uh, uh, Fringe Sports, a Buffalo bar. It doesn't come in for a few months, and they actually sent me a uh, free couple stickers, couple, uh, like three free stickers, and they actually sent um, a uh, protein bottle shaker, which I thought was pretty cool. Uh, so once again, we've got kind of the same stickers. I actually know what I'm doing with these. Guys, I'll be honest, I think I'm cutting it out in circles and it's gonna go right next to my Rogue sticker on my platform. Some of you guys might like that, some of you might not. Do I care? Nah. Do what you like, that's what I say. All right, so I don't see any other stickers unless they're inside here. It looks like there's less stickers, doesn't really matter. There might be more in there, we'll see. So let's open up uh, this box first and get to it. Uh, we'll see what kind of blemishes this has and if it's worth it or not. Ultimately, that's what we're trying to figure out, right? All right. Sometimes the tape is such a pain in the ass. All right, so here we go. Let's close that up. First piece looks pretty solid. I do not see anything that's going to piss me off. Okay, so this again is here. Now, like I said, guys, if somebody knows why that's there on these bars, please let me know in the comments because every single one so far has had that nick there and I thought that was a blemish at first and it looks like it's not. Uh, so I'd be really curious if you guys know why that's there. Put that to the side. Obviously, real quick, cap, best cap out there. Look, I gotta be honest with you, I'm a big Rogue Fitness fan, but I've had Rogue Fitness send me stuff that was blemished, and they say it's new, but they always take care of you afterwards. But I will say for barbells, kind of really digging these uh, Kabuki Strength bars so far. So once again, the same thing. Like I said, guys, let me know. Uh, I don't see anything wrong here. These look pretty good. Now, I've heard a lot of people say that they've gotten blemished Cadillac bars, and they feel like they can't find the... Um, blemishes. So I'd be perfectly fine if that was my case also here. All right, so here's the main piece. We've got a piece of uh, cardboard. Once again, we'll pull this down and we're going to get rid of that. So let's take the plastic off and see what we got here. Let's do it like this. I will do a full review on all these bar, on both of these bars. Um, I know that you can go out there and find on YouTube plenty of videos on both of these bars, um, but I'd like to give you guys my opinion and what I think. Okay, there it is. So you guys can see it. So let's look at it from here. Okay, there is a little bit of off coloring there, but actually that's going away. Don't see any problem there. Please excuse this table, it's disgusting. Everything looks good on this side. Got the Kapuki cutout. Everything looks good on this side. 
And looking at this bar, I honestly, guys, don't see any blemishes whatsoever. Here's all your bolts, both of these, slaves, and they both look good. Maybe what the problem with these, I don't know. Maybe it's this, there's a little bit of oxidation here. Uh, it looks like I can wipe it right off. Um, but that's probably what the blemish is. I don't know if you guys can see that real well, but there's a little bit of, looks like oxidation there on these. Nothing horrible, nothing I'm too worried about. All right, so that's this, guys. This one took a lot less time. We'll put it together and I'll show you guys what it looks like. All right, guys, so here is the bar all put together. Have not found any other blemishes with it. Nothing on the middle part there. The only thing it was on the sleeves, a little bit of oxidation, but I don't think that's gonna be an issue. Most of it is rubbing right off. There it is. All right, let's go to a conclusion of this. All right, guys, in conclusion, is it a good idea to buy blemish bars from Kabuki Strength? First, let me say this. I'm really glad that they give this offer. I'm glad that they offer this to people because there's so many times I buy stuff from other companies and it comes with blemishes and then it's a pain in the ass to have to reach out to them and get them to take care of it. I will say that I'm very satisfied with my purchase. I waited a week and a half for both of these bars instead of months and I got them both for $68 less like I already told you guys. Both of these bars came in pretty damn good shape in my opinion for a blemish bar. Especially the Cadillac bar, I don't see anything wrong with it. The Trap Bar HD, yeah, there's some scratches on it but I can deal with that. So please leave me some comments, some questions, if you've gotten a blemish bar from Kabuki Strength, I would love to know what your experience was. If you bought a bar brand new and you saw some things on it, did it come looking brand new or did it have some blemishes on it? Love to just know what your guys' experience is. Stay tuned for later on. We are going to end up doing some reviews of both these bars. Otherwise, guys, like and share and always live like a 10.